Hey guys, I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. We're an official DJI dealer in the United States. And today we're gonna to talk about breaking in your LiPo battery. A lot of you new pilots out there are just getting into this. You might have just bought a Phantom or something similar, another UAV or drone or UAS or whatever you wanna call it. And you just got it home, it's fresh out of the box and you're about to go take your first flight. So I hope you're watching this video before you go do that so that we can introduce you to what we call the LiPo battery break-in process. Uh, it's a simple process that we call 10 and 10, and it will give you a longer battery life and a more efficient capacity rating once you charge it up. So uh, to avoid damaging or our brand new batteries right out of the box, let's go through this quick method to show you how to make your battery last longer and have a better efficiency. Okay, so before we get started on talking about the LiPo battery break-in process, we're going to talk about LiPo batteries in general. Some of you guys are new pilots watching this for the first time, and I hope that you've probably already watched our Battery School 101 so that you can learn about LiPo batteries, proper care and storage techniques, uh, and, and charge rates, and, and how to understand what some of the numbers on these batteries say. So if you didn't watch that video yet, please take a few minutes to watch that one. Uh, so we're gonna talk about phantom batteries first of all. Phantom batteries have a smart technology built into the top of it so that when you do go to store these, after a 10 day period, they will start to auto discharge. And what we mean by that is it's gonna actually dissipate some of the energy in the battery to give it a safe storage voltage. So you never want to charge uh, a fully charged LiPo battery and throw it into a box for storage at full charge. You always want to have it at a safe discharge rate and then you can store it. Uh, otherwise, if you, if you charge it fully, like a, a traditional LiPo battery, if you leave it fully charged over time, say six months to a year, who knows how long it takes, but it might start to get a little um, angry and when these cells get angry inside the packs they'll start to swell and you can have an issue with uh, energy dissipation it can just blow through a pack and it can cause a fire so never leave these fully charged uh, in any storage device the newer batteries from 2014 uh, November 2014 from DJI, I do have an auto discharge feature, so after 10 days, they will start to dissipate some of that energy to a safe storage level, wherever they are sitting in your house. Um, so, and same with the Inspire batteries, you can actually uh, change the, the, the day rate from, I believe, five to 10 days, it'll start auto discharging. You can, you can change that in the software. So, one of the things that we suggest for you new guys is to go down to the military surplus store, grab yourself an ammo 10 or two, for storing your lipos, this is a this is a great way to uh, keep keep your batteries safe in your house. Now, one of the other things is that uh, you know you don't want to store your lipos in an extreme temperature. So, say 90 plus degrees or below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. If you if you store them in extreme temperatures, it can also affect the battery uh, health and it can begin to start to swell if you have them in extreme temperatures. So let's go ahead and get started now and let's talk about the battery break-in process. Okay, so let's talk about the break-in process. The break-in process is something that professional heli pilots around the world do to break in and better acclimate their new LiPo. When you get a brand new LiPo, take it out of the box, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this, what we call the 10 and 10. Um, this will give your battery a longer life and a more efficient charge rating. So if you take your brand new battery out and say you fly it and you run it down the full capacity, what it says on the box, I know it says on the box 20 to 25 minutes for a Phantom. Uh, if you do that, you break it down and you, you fly it all the way until the red lights start flashing on the back and you've almost uh, totally run out all the energy from the battery down to 10% or so. Uh, not a good idea because it can overextend the battery. You don't want to overextend the battery the first few days that you have the battery. Let's compare it to like buying a new car. Uh, when you get a new car, you have a brand new engine in that car and you don't want to run your car ragged for the first during the first thousand miles. So you want to drive it around 55 miles an hour to uh, make sure that the car is, is, is well broken in and, and everything gets seated in the engine properly. Um, so with a LiPo battery, 
you want to break in a LiPo battery similar in the way that we don't want to overextend them. So when we talk about 10 and 10, to get a healthier battery life, we'll take it out to the field, we'll charge it up first to its full capacity um, until it says full, check the voltage on the battery to see what that charge rate is. Say if you got, this is at 11, one volt. So see if it gets all the way up to 12.6 or so, 12.6 volts. And then uh, we'll get out to the field and when we do, put it in the copter, fly it for 10 minutes. And this is based on the rating that, that we can get, uh, say, 20 minutes out of this battery. Let's safely say that, respectively, we can get 20 minutes out of it. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna split it in half. So fly it down to, say, 50 to 60% of the battery life, and then take it back home, recharge it, and bring it back out to the field and fly it again. So the second 10 in that is 10 times we wanna do this process, so 10 and 10. Uh, for other batteries that are smaller, you say you get five minutes out of the smaller battery. So let's fly that one for uh, about a couple minutes, maybe two and a half minutes, so that we get down to about 50, or 60, 50 to 60% of the battery time left in, in this one as well. So, um, and this one is an 11.1 uh, 11 .1 volt as well, three cell. And if this one, uh, we wanna, wanna fly that one to that same rate. And then we'll do that, say, I mean, you could safely do it five to six times and, and acclimate the cells in your battery. But what that is gonna do for you is it's going to give you, like we said, it's gonna give you a better charge capacity when you do it, uh, when you do charge it for the first time, and it's gonna give you a longer battery life. So it lets the cells in the battery get better acclimated, and they will hold off a full charge longer for you. Now, if you go right out of the gate and you start flying them down to, you know, 10% battery life left, you might end up with a damaged cell in the battery. You might end up with something, uh, uh, a battery that won't fly its full capacity uh, rating. So in other words, you might expel 20% uh, of the, the battery capacity uh, due to your flying habits the first few days, first week that you have this battery. So uh, some guys out there are telling me that they can't get 15 minutes out of their Phantom battery because who knows why. But we have an idea that if you really take the time to do this 10 and 10 process, it will go uh, a, a much further for you. So. Um, like the professional heli pilots do around the world. Take your time, break in your LiPo battery, and you're gonna see a much longer life out of it. So, thanks again for watching. I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. Please click subscribe. Mm -hmm.